Greetings, gentlemen. So, electric APU versus uh, it's standard engine APU on a truck. All right, so this is OTR Ogre and Corrigan. Hey, like, link, and subscribe, you know, if you're here. Uh, it's, my cadence is a little too laid back. Turn up the speed, man. Watch videos at higher speed, man. But uh, electric versus regular. And if you're just getting in the industry, you probably don't even have that option. You get these big mega companies. Like, you get your, I don't know, I went to a mom and pop place to get my license. And I had already had a class B. It was a garbage man for a number of years. And I always wanted to do a long haul, but I always had all these. You always meet the worst people in uh, over the road. The people who fail are the ones that are going to tell you the most. As far as they're going to be like, oh, you don't want to do trucking, man. Oh, I lost everything, blah, blah, blah. Translation, the guy got a lease. He didn't really want to drive that much. And uh, he basically fucked around a lot. Some of these guys are more chrome than company. And those are the guys that will tell you the most information. You don't want to drive. You don't want to drive truck. You know, old timers that are failures. I'm not that guy. I will tell you ways to save money. And when you get into this industry, if you're young, you're young, you're like 21 years old. When you get the first company, it's probably going to be a company that does not have APUs, unless you're in the South. Some, if you're in the Northwest, they're going to be like, fuck you, APU, are you kidding me? I will just send you to a different part of the state occasionally so you're not pissed off, which is kind of all right, to be honest. If it's dead of winter up north and that sucks and they send you down to the desert, that's awesome. But if it's fucking hot in the summer in the desert, you're just happy to go to the northwest. So that's when you start out. You start out, you don't have that option. So you got to adapt and shit. So people say, well, how did you cook back in the day? Well, the first company I worked for wouldn't even install a decent size. Uh, inverter in their trucks you had to buy it so i bought a 1500 watt inverter and i recommend a 2000 you know bigger is better you gotta get big old thick wire and you can get their mechanics to install it i mean you know honestly truth be known the first company i worked at, i only worked there there's a maker company after i got my license from the mom and pop was on the last just uh it's like six seven months because i knew i had enough experience to move to anywhere better that was the goal that's why i was there and uh, I wasn't really, like, totally hyped on quitting the place. But I, I knew that, look, they treat their people like shit. They got a lot of drivers, so they can treat them like crap. They give you short routes. You know, you'd be driving like, oh, this is 500 miles. Well, that's not so bad. You get a 1,000-mile route, and they act like, oh, that's a really good one. Like, I'm used to doing routes from one side of the country to the other. That's what I do now. So I look back, and I laugh at the shit I used to deal with. When you, when you first get in, you got to you got to drive your your certain amount of months. It's not even so much miles. It's just months. And then once they see you've been in the industry for at least six months, then you can move up to a second, the next level company, and that's where you're going to have mid-range stuff. That's where my first company that would allow me to put in an uh, inverter. They wouldn't put the inverter, but you could buy one, and their mechanics would install it. And so bada-bing, bada-boom, man. I start having the ability to cook my own food. You know, so people say, well, you got to idle the truck to do that. Well, go to Wally World, buy a steak, season dry rub that steak, put the uh, olive oil in the pan, you know, or put some fish in there, put some broccoli around there, and put some bacon on top of the fish and the spices and all that, a little bit of cheese. And then as you're driving down the road, you got all the energy in the world to cook with. And so as far as keeping cool when you have no APU, fans go a long ways. Like, I'm not saying if it gets way too hot, you're just going to have to idle. And that's where some companies, oh, you're idling too much. And, you know, this is long before I had uh, tons of fun here. <laughs> Man, he's a big corgi. But, uh, no. When you get some of these companies, they are literally, you're treated like a fucking animal. And they don't want you idling. Well, it's like, well, don't send me. And I told them, I said, I this one company, they didn't want to get an APU. Oh, we're not doing APUs. And I said, okay, you know, but if it gets too hot, I'm not just doing so much. You're down on the radio during the summer. You're like, no, I'm idling. Screw you. I don't care. You know, it's like, uh, but then it's like after you've been, I don't want to say in the heat for a while, and you get up, say, say you're low radio, you're up at Fort Stockton or something, and it's actually, you know, you go this southern route, going back up northwest. You're basically following the Mexican border, alien-looking plant life and shit. <laughs> goats randomly running around certain parts near the border you're like and i'm not kidding that really happens it's fucking weird you're like why are there so many goats around here um you get up there and it's now it's 80 and 80 compared to 100 feels like oh god it's so nice 
you can still smell the heat coming off the land. And so basically, you're like, you go in there, you turn on that fan, and you're just a little bit about your body's got a little sweat even after you shower, just a little bit, and you're just, you're fine. And then you know, it gets down to 70, you're like, oh, this is so fucking perfect. But I gotta tell you something, I don't wanna live like a fucking heathen. I'm just saying it. I mean, that was my rule from day one. I wanted an APU before I even had one mile of experience from a company. And that's why I changed company. Well, actually, when I when I left the first mega company after like six, seven months, I went over to the company I wanted. And the only reason I wanted them was for the APU. That was it. They were close to where I lived at the time. And when I say lived, I lived out of my van. I own a place out in another state that may or may not be a rental depending on my mood. You know, because sometimes I just don't want to deal with renters. And uh, it's kind of a good storage unit too at times. But... The gig of it is, is that when I'm traveling, I'm going where the money is, where the work is. So this new company, they basically have what I want. They have a inverters the right size. They got the tri pack, and that company worked out for a little bit, and then they became the big sleep apnea scare. I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm not taking no fucking test. I'm not getting no damn diagnosis that's going to be like cancer for the rest of my fucking life. Fuck you, you know. So next company I went to didn't have APUs but they put on the inverters, you know. And you just adapt to the situation. You buy your breezeways for your windows. Like, <laughs> I got two sets of breezeways that uh, work for Freightliners, but uh, I can't adjust them to make them work for this big-ass fucking window on this Peterbilt. That's where I, I'm saying, real simple tactic for guys that don't know this, go buy some window screen, get some duct tape, some cardboard, and then you know how your window's got those grooves? You can shove shove something in there like a little thing. You you just build yourself a window screen. You know, you just do the edges. You cut at the edges to pit it, and then you take like a, the, you know, those uh, lattice material that's like the thickness of a paint stir stick, and you set it up to where you can set that in there and hold it hold it both in place like two sticks. It's not hard. I I built one before for another truck. I need to build one again. Maybe I'll do a video of that. But. That actually lets the air through, and people are like, yeah, but I mean, uh, what if someone punches, you know, through the, the sink trying to get in your truck? It's like, I back a gun, motherfucker. And the other thing is, if they want to get in this truck, even if the windows are closed, all they got to do is break the window. So be a little, if they re if someone's really determined to get your shit, they're going to get it, you know, and then uh, they, they're going to find a fucking, you know, a barrel point at their fucking face. But then we get to APUs, and... I look at APUs from the standpoint of, okay, electric versus uh, engine. I like engine if you're going to be stuck somewhere. If you're going to be like your flat better and there's no load, you're stuck for a day and a half, uh, you got your TV going, you got your everything going, uh, video games, watch Kung Fu flick on one screen, you know, shit, and the other one's playing video games. Yeah, if I'm going that route, yeah, I definitely want an uh, engine style APU. The problem with engine style APUs, and this is a problem you will deal with with companies, and you will deal with it as a normal guy if you're a cheap ass. People that try to nickel and dime on preventative maintenance. Like, hey, you know that starter's going out, and you don't get it fixed, or you're at a terminal and they just don't want to deal with it. So, they, oh, it ran fine, we got it to start. They, maybe they tapped it, had a sticky starter, or there's a loose wire or who for all you know they might the people in the shop might fucking hate your ass and they they got they loosened a wire purposely just to fuck with you and then they 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 get it running they say oh see it's running now so i've had fuck i've dealt with enough shitty mechanics at terminals to know them. Yeah, I'll, I'll go over this as another video how a lot terminal mechanics are like fucking socialist versus a guy who owns his own shop is a fucking capitalist you know you, you want to keep people pleased when you own your own shop versus a guy who's working for a paycheck, you don't give a fuck. Some guys do, but generally they don't. They only care enough not to get fired. Now, when it comes to that type of maintenance, you're going to deal with some swagadelic shit with people. And then you got to park this thing where the wind is going the, the correct direction. That way it blows the smoke away from your cab. Like, I don't want to smell that. And so when I look at those engine APUs. I loved them for a long time, but I gotta say, this this electric APU, I don't have to worry about which way I'm parked. At the end of the day, I got a full charge. Now, I know a lot of people will say, well, wait a minute, you can't run an electric APU all weekend. You're right, you can't. 
you're gonna have to you know get a recharge at some point so maybe i want to cook something so I, I turn on the fucking motor you know a couple times a day for maybe half an hour to an hour and uh bada bing bada boom i've got that now the question is how often are you going to have to do that and another thing you can do actually to save on that is you prep your cooking right there just like you would in the old days and then while you're driving down the road you set it up on your brake or your deal that it's ready to go and then you pull over let the dog take a piss you take a piss and then you put your you plug it in and as you're driving down the road you let it cook in the pan and then when you park for that night your dinner's ready to go like it's already cooling off you've already turned it and you got a full charge on your ap on your electric apu so it's just a matter of strategy and different changes i'd argue that i like it better because i've actually just slowed down how i do things i used to be a power runner 24 7 you know, run 11 hours, 11 hours. And I'll tell you, I still power run the first two, maybe three days of a of a fresh 70. That way, when I do get recap, it's going to be a really good recap. And this actually goes into why exactly I hate the hours of service. Why the hell is it that I get back after eight days what I use the first day? Why can't I just get 10 hours of sleep or, you know, a 10-hour break, get, you know, seven, eight hours of sleep, and then get up and have a fresh day to work with every day? Why can't I have that? And I know some guy, oh, they run us into the ground and shit. Okay, well, maybe you're a pussy, but I'm not, okay? I can handle it. So in my mind, that in that sense, the electric APU would be the shit. Because, like, say I get to a truck stop and I'm dog, doggo there is still in the truck. I turn on that electric APU. It's running at 70 degrees. It keeps this whole cab nice and cool. And, you know, as far as, you know, reduction of heat and all that crap, you know, you do your windows, you take uh, your, your window screens like that, you put those in place, and then you do your roll-around curtains. And yes, it keeps it keeps a lot of the heat out. You may even strategically park still. You don't have to worry about smoke anymore, but hey, if that windshield isn't facing, you know, the sun, and the trailer's getting the sun, in fact, this trailer has a little solar panel, or which is a little, like, it's a decent-sized solar panel on top of it. But um, if you if you're facing the correct direction to where the sun isn't into your windshield, that means you're not getting that much more heat towards you. And so that, that little electric APU for most of the afternoon is going to be absolutely fine. You know, if you get there, say, at noon, you park, you're going to be fine all the way into the evening. You're going to be watching TV and all that stuff, see whatever channels you can pick up over the airwaves, or you maybe maybe you got dish or something, I don't know. But uh, I recommend it. And there's some guys say, well, what's the cost of one of these units? They're not cheap. I mean, look at how much the tri-pack costs, even a rig master. And then they got this recycled, these green APUs, which are basically, if I remember right, they're recycled APUs, rebuilt, you know, remanufactured. They're not free. But every time that, that engine part moves, it's costing you miles of that truck. So if you're idling your truck on a regular basis, like, you know, these guys that are idling their truck, oh, it's too cold. Okay, I mean, I'd rather just treat my fuel, and, uh, and even that'll lose you some miles too. But you know, or strategically park. I'm like, hey, I know this area is going to be this warm, and I know my fuel will be fine if it's that temperature, so I don't have to worry about that. I know this this basin gets this cold. Like Butte, Montana is going to be how cold, but if you go this many miles over for some reason, uh, just the way the land is, it'll be warmer. And so you just learn to do things a bit differently. But the fact that you don't have to, you know, deal with a fucking motor that's breaking down on a regular basis, that's worth, you know, it's worth its weight in gold. You know, and, you know, as, you know, you sit there and you go through the country, you know, you strategically drive. You know, like, okay, I get to this place, it's going to be about sunset, park, you know, and then I drive this far, I know there's going to be a good place here, I even know where the shady spot is, hopefully I get it, you know, park. So instead of doing things, power running three days and being completely destroyed on the other side of the country, and even then still, like I said, I might still power run just to make my recap better, I might start just taking my time. And there's times where I get back and I look at my recaps pretty good. I'm like, hey, you guys got something I can move? And they're like, yeah, we got something you can move. Here, take this to here to here to there. And then I get back and maybe my recap's crap, and I take a 34-hour reset and, you know, hop in the van and uh, take off. But, you know, I don't know. This is my thoughts on APUs. Y'all have a good one.